morning everyone, happy Sunday. I'm driving into town to go to church and uh, bought my lantern today. and her two kids, their two children, is old, and that's a big old, big old old tree. It's a big, big dude. There's a lot of those around here. Small towns have big oaks, right? <laughs> so, this is just a little happy day video, and I'm just saying good morning, and uh, hope y'all praise you some Jesus today, and enjoy the day. It's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, is and did serve our country and uh, risk their lives for us for our freedom and uh, and just I see more and more every day it's pretty uh, some of it's pretty heartbreaking what the sacrifices they made or you won't see too many of that anymore you know the military is about about it so Looks like I am the first one in church. And that's my church, Faith Baptist Church in Southern Illinois. It's kind of like Southwestern Illinois, but everybody says I'm crazy when I say that. But it is, it's Southwestern Illinois. <laughs> so that's my, that's my church. And uh, that's the sanctuary and it is absolutely beautiful in there. Um, the, the, root, the ceiling is just slatted wood and it's so beautiful and then um, and everything is the same from what I was little, even the carpet which is crazy that it lasted that long but and this this used to be now my mother is 73 I'm 46 this my mother used to go to school here this used to be the old schoolhouse and it actually right over there where that one window is short right there it had the slide down fire escape, you know, the big metal tube. And then right back here, it's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see the red brick through my car. Um, that was the uh, part of the of the school too. There was two buildings. But, okay, so there's a basement. And then there's that. And then you go up to that floor. And then you go up some more steps to that floor. And they're all carpeted now, but I was telling my kids that when I was small, um, all that was wood those steps were wood <laughs> and uh, um, and everything was painted like this lime light lime green I mean it was you know like the old school colors and when we come down from those were all the uh, Sunday school classes and whatnot 
and there was an office on that that floor on the other side though but when we, and then upstairs will be we'd have children's church so the adults would go to the sanctuary kids would go upstairs to children's church and we had a a pastor up there and we had children's choir we had a tilt choir but our children's church pastor was named um well, he's still alive randy dempsey and he was also a magician so he did bible based and christian based uh, magic tricks which I thought was really cool but that's where I got saved right up there in that room and um, we'd run downstairs um, in between Sunday school and church there was a 15 minute span of time to give people time you know to move around and everything and we always had cookies and Kool-Aid but when we run down them stairs our little dresses would click it click it click it click it click and it was I just remember that sound and we just fly down them steps I'm surprised nobody killed herself and broke their neck but, you know, nowadays somebody would sue somebody over that. So, so everything is carpeted now. But I just have some good memories here. I remember when they built this whole uh, thing right here and put all this glass door in right here. And um, it was pretty cool. But, yeah, it hasn't changed much. Everything is still looking the same in there. It's pretty neat. It's like walking back in time. And it still has the same smell. And I know that sounds crazy, but... Uh, I'm a smell person, so when I go in somewhere and it smells the same as when I was a kid, it just brings back a lot of memories. We used to fill this whole parking lot and have a great big revival. We've had, um, my dad had a band here. It was a um, Christian band called His Promise. And then uh, my daddy passed in 2015. Good, good man. Excellent man. Couldn't I ask for a better father. Um, he was a spiritual leader of our house, and that's what's lacking in a lot of houses these days is spiritual leaders. They just, they just not there. They're not there, and um, it's kind of sad. But uh, I don't know. Things, things have changed a lot, and it's not really for the good. But gotta stay positive and keep trying and keep pushing. And maybe our example will, uh, you know, spark lights in some of these young new families coming up. And even some of the ones that are like my age, I'm 46. I see so many people on drugs and alcohol and I drove by, there's this bar in our town called The Nail, which stands for New Athens, Illinois. And um, it was just packed. I mean, people outside, people inside, cars everywhere. Then I think about, you know, the churches. Of course they're packed, but what if all them people also went to church and what if all of us were more Christ-like and not so judgmental and cared about each other you know what I'm saying wow that would be really cool but anyway uh, we've had here um, the Oak Ridge Boys uh, who else Oak Ridge Boys were here before oh the Bradshaw Brothers and Don I don't know if y'all know them or not but we used to have this amazing little pianist. Her name was Ruth Golson. Boy, she could tear it up. And she was a little bitty thing. Probably about four foot two. <laughs> and then um, she she passed on not too long ago. A couple years back. But um, the organist, her name was Darling Andrew. She's still alive, bless her heart. And she can, she can get down on that. She plays the piano now too. So, but she can get down on that piano too. Um, it's just these little bitty tiny women. And boy, they can... They can make them hum. Them. We got a, there's a baby grand piano in there, and it they it's it's nice. And you know it's been there for a long time, and it's it's black and it's beautiful. And it, I used to do be the uh, janitor here for a while, and um, my daddy he he was doing it too, and he would come up and help me after he retired from doing it. He would come up and help me sometimes, and cause way up in there the chandeliers are way high. And you have to get this one really high ladder, and it's one of those ones that open like that. And he said, you don't ever want me changing them lights without somebody there. Because if you fall and land on them pews, whew, you're going to be hurting. <laughs> and you're probably not going to be able to get up and call somebody. So, But anyway, uh, here's my beautiful church. And y'all have a beautifully blessed day. And may the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.